Hello, my name is Tim Strickland and I'm your host for Mom Talk Video. Today we get to hear from Brooke Brown Pollard, who's one of our Cuddlebugs bloggers. She'll tell us all about her husband's desire to dress their child in Manchester United soccer uniforms 24 hours a day. I met my husband in 1998. He is originally from Swindon, England. He came over here on a soccer scholarship and we started dating a couple weeks after he arrived in school. And we got married in 2003 at Lake Norman, North Carolina. And then we welcomed our first child, Sale, in 2009. Um, I was a very good pregnant girl up until about 38, 39 weeks. I had taken everything with a grain of salt. And about that time, I started really getting impatient and wanting to not be pregnant anymore and wanting to have my have the baby. Um, I let's see. My, my midwife told me that I was probably going. I was I was three centimeters dilated, and I kept getting more and more effaced with every single visit. And finally, I was like, "All right, we're going to do this." And so I went in thinking that she was going to say, "Okay, well, let's just go ahead and put you in the hospital." And I had had no progression whatsoever. And so she had looked at going ahead and inducing me, and then the hospital had, they were having work done on their oxygen tanks. And so they couldn't induce me. And I was a hormonal wreck by that point, and I didn't think that anybody in the hospital needed oxygen. I wasn't going to use anybody's oxygen at the hospital, just get this baby out of me. And so I didn't get my way, and they sent me home. And my mother, who had come down to stay with me because she was not gonna miss the arrival of her first grandson, the next day she went home. I went to work that day. I was very upset, went ahead and just said, forget it, I'm not sitting on my tush anymore. I'm gonna just keep on living my life and the baby's gonna come when the baby's gonna come. And I went to work and I came home and my water broke. <laughs> so my mother had to drive back down here from Greensboro the next day. She did get here in time to um, watch sale being delivered. And on March 25th, I had my little perfect boy. The biggest difference between myself and my husband and our parenting styles, given that I'm from America and he's from England, is that if Aaron had his way, he would have sale dressed in Manchester United outfits all day long. Um, the wardrobe is the thing that we fight about the most. I would like Sale to wear cute little baby outfits, or and he's coming into the toddler years, obviously, and I want him dressed as a cute little boy. And Aaron would like to have him dressed in Manchester United jerseys and Manchester United diapers and Manchester United toboggans. And he actually says that I'm psychologically scarring Sale by dressing him in sissy clothes, and that that Sale should actually be actually being dressed like a young man and I guess a diehard soccer fan. So any, any wives out there that husbands love Manchester United, feel free to come on over to our house because I have a whole box of clothes for you. My favorite blog that I have written is about my husband actually being framed. Because if you come to my home, you will see that everything that I do with my child with sale gets done correctly. For instance, I'll change his diaper and the diaper goes from you know, the changing table into the diaper genie. Um, when my husband changes sale, the diaper goes off of sale and then sits on the changing table and will sit there. And I actually will have to ask my husband, I'm like, Aaron, why didn't you throw the diaper into the diaper genie? And he says, oh, I did. It just came out on its own. And I'm like, okay. And then I'll ask him if I have sale and he's crying and carrying on. I'll say, Aaron, can you go downstairs and get me? you know, sales pacifier, and so Aaron will go downstairs and do a quick walk through, and then come upstairs and report to me that there are no pacifiers, that you couldn't find any, and so when I actually get up with a screaming sale on my shoulder and go down the stairs, magically, there is the pacifier sitting in broad daylight, plain sight, and his excuse will be that, hey, well, I didn't see it. So I think that the whole problem in my house is that there are gremlins that are just framing Aaron and that he's actually trying to help me, but they're just, like, they're working against him. And so they're just making him look bad and I should just kind of lay off of him. I actually do have a lot of nice things to say about my husband. He does participate in daddy duty time which I think is very important for all moms to actually enlist their husbands in. And it's when dad is in complete charge of what goes on with the baby. And so they can share in, in nurturing their child. And I know for instance, when I was home all day with Sale and, and Aaron would come home, I'd say, daddy duty time. And then I would go and be able to take a long shower and wash my hair and shave my legs and do everything that needed to be done, even if it's to read or just to not do anything at all. And Aaron was in charge of taking everything 
um, in taking care of sale and taking care of everything that surrounds sale. And Aaron is very good at doing that. And Aaron loves to um, take sale outside. And he's very he's very active with sale. So while I do call Aaron out on a lot of things, he really is a very good father. If I was going to give another mother that had a one-year-old any kind of advice, I would tell them just to roll with the punches, that no matter how hard you try to keep your house safe and to keep preventative measures in place, your child is going to get into something else. And you have just got to learn from what they're doing, learn from your mistakes, put plans in place to make sure that they don't happen again, and just go with it. I don't think that there's a manual that teaches any mom how to be a perfect mother. I think that the children actually teach you how to be a perfect mother. And so just to hang in there and just keep on learning.